This is the solution to written homework 43. <clears throat> so part A, we're given this region defined with these bounds. Part A, the question is to draw it in the xy plane. <clears throat> So if like this, so y and x. So at x is 4, 3x is 12. So we'll need to have a different scale on the x and y axis to make this work. So 1, 2, 3, 4. How about 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12? So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So the x bounds are 2 to 4. So that's 2, 4. The lower y bound is 2. The upper y bound is uh, x is is y is 3x, so that would be from here because 3 times 2 is 6 to here because 3 times 4 is 12, so like this. So this is y is 3x y is 2, x is 2, and x is 4, and the region we're talking about is this. <clears throat> okay, now some students asked, uh, didn't understand the question, and they, they were trying to draw this picture in the XYZ plane, or uh, sorry, XYZ space, so trying to draw what this double integral is talking about. So this is what I this is what I wanted. This drawing. <coughs> um, but just out of interest's sake, I'll show you what it looks like. what the object looks like. So this is x, y, z. <clears throat> and this shape is now going to be down here. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So from, from x is 2 to x is 4. And y is 2. And then when, when x is 2, y is 6, so that's 2, 4, 6. This right here. And then at x is 4, y is 12, so that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 here. Okay, so here's the shape in the xy plane. So that shape is that shape. And then if you were to plot, if you were to attempt to plot f of x and y, it is a plane because it's 2x plus 6y. So it's linear in x and linear in y, so it's a plane. And <clears throat> I'll just roughly sketch what that plane would look like above here. So 
this this would be the highest point so that would be uh, 2x so that'd be 8 plus 6y so plus uh, 72 so this would be all the way at height 80 so this would be really tall so I'll just say that's 80 uh, this point <coughs> That's when x is 4 and y is 2. So that'd be uh, 8 plus 12 is 20. So that'd be something like this. <coughs> this point in the back, uh, that would be when x is 2 and y is 6. So that would be 4 plus, so that'd be um, 40. So something like something like that, maybe. And then this point right here, that's when y is 2 and x is 2. So that's 4 plus 12 is 16. So something like this. So this is what we'd see. So this is a plane that we're viewing from the underneath. So this is the underside of the plane. So this is a solid object that has a, the bottom looks like this, and the top is slanting down toward the origin. <clears throat> OK, so that's what that would look like. So now let's answer part B. So this is uh, a double integral, and we'll use Fubini's to turn it in, into an iterated integral. Now, because the x's are constant, they must be on the outside. So that's from x is 2 to x is 4. And the y's are non-constant, so they need to be on the inside, so from y is 2 to y is 3x, and then 2x plus 6y, and then dy dx. OK, <clears throat> so then for the inside integral, we can use the fundamental theorem. So the antiderivative of this expression with respect to y is 2xy plus 3y squared. And then this is evaluated from y is 2 to y is 3x. <coughs> so that's x is 2 to x is 4. And then if we plug in 3x, well, 2x multiplied by 3x, that's 6x squared, and then plus 3. And then if we plug in 3x, we'd have to get 3x squared. So that would be 9x squared times another 3 is 27x squared. And then minus what we get when we plug in y is 2. So that would be 4x plus 3 times 4 is 12 dx. Simplifying a little bit. Now that we've integrated away the, the y's, I'll write 2 to 4 and not x equal to and x equal 4 because we're not in danger of mixing up the variables anymore. So 27 plus 6 is 33. So there's 33 x squared. And then minus 4x minus 12 dx. Okay, now we can use the fundamental theorem on this. 
So that would be um, 11 x cubed. Uh, and then minus 2x squared minus 12x. And then this evaluated from 2 to 4. <clears throat> so that would be 11 times 4 cubed minus 2 times 4 squared minus 12 times 4. Four, and then minus 11 times 2 cubed <coughs> minus 2 times 2 squared minus 12 times 2 then we can just plug that into the machine from here so that would be 11 times 4 cubed minus 2 times 4 squared minus 12 times 4 and then minus 11 times 2 cubed minus 2 times 2 squared minus 12 times 2 is 568 That's the answer.